in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. This is Father Deacon Angel Palacios from the Orthodox Church in America, Diocese of Mexico. From the Orthodox Mission of St. Andrew in Tijuana, Baja California, Mexico. The Gospel is for the 23rd of September, 2018, according to St. Mark. Who is the greatest in the Church? Jesus and his disciples left from there and began a journey through Galilee. But he did not wish anyone to know about it. He was teaching his disciples and telling them, The Son of Man is to be handed over to men, and they will kill him. And three days after his death, the Son of Man will arise. But they did not understand the saying, and they were afraid to question him. They came to Capernaum, and once inside the house, he began to ask them, What were you arguing about on the way? But they remained silent. They had been discussing among themselves on the way who was the greatest. Then he sat down, called the twelve, and said to them, If anyone wishes to be first, he shall be the last of all and the servant of all. Taking a child, he placed it in, the midst of, in their midst, and putting his arms around it, he said to them, Whoever receives one child such as this in my name receives me, and whoever receives me receives not me, but the one who sent me. Glory be to thee, O God, glory be to thee. So for the Christ, for the Lord Jesus Christ, there is no beaker, no beaker of Christ. There is no great man above everyone else that is ruling over everyone. There is none. If the Christ himself had thought that it would be good for us churches to have one man that is above everyone else, then he would have stated back then, hey, don't uh, confuse yourselves. The, the one that is going to be the first and the only one and the, and the, the very uh, maximus uh, authority will be Simon Peter. But he did not. On the contrary, when the Lord was talking about the sacrifice of the cross, the apostles were talking about the vain glory of humanity. The Lord does not accept any beaker of Christ. Whoever wants to be the first, be the last. And then the deacon of all, be the servant. Whoever wants to be the greatest, shall be the last one. And the servant of all. This beautiful word, deacon, which means the server, is exactly the wording of the Lord. So there should be no one who claims to be, or to have the power, the absolute power, or infallibility, or anything of those, of those things, weird things that the Lord never gave to any human being. We have to learn the true gospel of the Lord elsewhere, or else, if we are being taught something different, then what is happening is that we are being led to somewhere where there is no God. We're being led to some place contrary to God. He then gives us those, that beautiful example and those words. Whoever receives a child such as this receives me in my name, and does not receive only me, but the Father who has sent me. Look at the humbleness of the Lord. He, being one of the true young God, does not presume that he is God. Rather, he is presents himself as an apostle, the first apostle, the one sent by the Father, and refers to the Father for all greatness. Shouldn't we also learn to refer all greatness to God? Shouldn't we also learn to be humble and truthful? May the Lord cleanse us from all our impurities and give us eternal life.